Hello everyone. So welcome to today's episode. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what, what I'm doing. And uh, uh, this is actually uh, the what we do as maintenance engineers. So it's a day-to-day -day work that we do in the companies. Sometimes we have to do projects. Sometimes we have to do fault finding on electrical panels. And I'm working as a multi-skilled maintenance engineer. I do electrical and mechanical maintenance. So I have to have a vast knowledge of uh, electrical and uh, mechanical and PLCs. Well, I do what I can. <laughs> but and I'm also trying to get a degree in electronic engineering. Hopefully next by May I should have my degree in electronic engineering. And uh, okay, so oh, back to what we were doing. Uh, what I'm trying to design a, a control panel for. I'm trying to design a control panel for for a production line. So I've designed electrical diagrams and I've built the panel. All right, now what I'm doing now is wiring the panel and I've wired part of it because I've wired a direct online, direct online, um, by wired a direct online circuit. I've also wired uh, an inverter for a 37 kilowatts motor. So then that inverter has to trigger other contactors. So what my intention today is to is to um to trigger an output, a digital output from the frequency uh, variable frequency drive and be able to drive the two machines, which will be two motors, no, three mesh, three three electrical motors, which are which are going to run two machines or three machines. So that's my intention. So I've, I could not find um, I could not find a motor. So I could not find a motor that um, that's as big as thirty seven kilo amp, uh, kilowatts. But I found this motor, which is the biggest I have here. It's, I think it's a, you can see the, the um, name plate. Oh, it's um, 22 kilo amps, kilo, 22 kilowatts motor. It's a 22 kilowatts motor and um, it has this connection, which is in Delta right now. But I'm going to uh, configure it because here it says uh, I'm going to configure it so that I can connect it to the inverter. I've already powered up the, the the panel. If you if you want to see how I started to build this panel from the scratch, you can check my other videos to see how I started. I'll post the link below to see how I started to build this panel from the scratch. Now I've powered it up, and I'm trying. I'm configuring the the parameters of the of this inverter. Because this is built for a 37 kilowatts motor, and I'm going to run a, 20, a 22 kilowatts motor on it to test it. So that's uh, that's what I'm doing now, and uh, configuring the the parameters. So this is the motor parameters, and uh, this is a co uh, complete settings for. Uh, so if you go into the, uh, this is the main, uh, you go into complete setting. And then here you can see the motor parameters you can define units. In the motor parameters you can put, you can put, uh, you can put the characteristics of the motor. Motor data, like here it says motor data, you can go into motor data and then you can put, uh, like I put here, it's gonna be a 22 kilowatts motor. If you can see, there's 22 kilowatts there. It's, uh, and under there, well, I'll select it. 
Okay, that's 22 kilowatts motor. Uh, maximum frequency, I'm going to put it at 50 hertz. 50 hertz. So, I'm going to put it at 50 hertz. I think it could be changed. Hopefully, because it's, we run on 50 hertz here in the UK. Wow. The, we have 400 volts and 50 hertz. So, that's the supply, and uh, we're just gonna make the just keep it at that 50 hertz at maximum, okay. And uh, 400 volts well, 410 volts that's what we have here. But this is a nominal voltage, but we have 410 volts. Well, I could leave it at 400, but I have 410 volts. This is the nominal voltage of that motor, it's 39 amps. Uh, 50 hertz nominal motor frequency. Okay, nominal motor frequency is 50 hertz So it's it's all right the, the motor speed I have to go and check the motor speed because here is 1475 rpm Revolution per minute. So I need to check the nameplate to make sure it corresponds So it says it's 2955 rpm So we change it to 2955 rpm this one, you just turn it around. This once you scroll it, if you take it this way, it goes up 2955. So it just goes, it's a bit slow. Is that 1000 something? 2955, that's what I'm trying to get. Okay, maybe I can, I can just take it two, put two here, you know, 2900. Let's go to the next, take it up, 955, is it? It's a 955, I thought. Okay, I can get five here. I think, yeah, I think that's 955, but let's make sure. Of course, that's 2955, so you just push okay. And that's the motor speed. And then we keep going down. Uh, a multi bar at um, cosine. I will just leave it like that. Uh, it's very important that you download the manual and you read the manual. I think I'll just leave that, manual, that maximum frequency at 60. So we know we're not gonna we have the we have the um the, because we have the nominal frequency of 50 so we just leave the nominal I mean, uh, maximum frequency of, at 60 you know but we don't we're never gonna use it i suppose And then we can also go to the um, because we're going to run this on a start stop start stop. We go to the um, we go to configure the for configure the input the IOs. So here's how what I've done. I've connected the the motor to the inverter. It's in delta. It's in uh, the. It's in delta configuration. Okay, so you have to look at the nameplate. You look at the nameplate, and then it will tell you which configuration to make. So the nameplate of this model says that for 415 volts uh, connection, we have to use a delta connection here, and uh, and that's what I've done. So it has a delta connection here, and then. And then to the it's linked to the inverter. And remember, before you power the invest, before you connect the motor, before you start the motor for the first time with the inverter, you have to plug the inverter in. Plug the inverter in for like uh, for about an hour, so that the the capacitors 
in the in the variable frequency drive will charge before you turn before you turn the motor on. So I've configured the parameters, introduced the parameters of the motor, the 22 kilowatts and uh, 410 volts. That has a, a nominal current of 39.4 amps at uh, 50 hertz. And this is the speed, the motor speed is uh, 2,955 RPM. Well, it's going to run at full speed. I've, I'm using a potentiometer too. So I've done a three wire configurations, which is a start stop, a start stop, a start stop here. There's still work to be done, but we can already do the initial test. And when we start it from here, uh, you can see that the motor is running. You hear the motor. And you can monitor the speed here. You can see it's not even at full speed yet. We can adjust the speed with this uh, potentiometer. You can adjust the speed, bring it lower or bring it higher. It's going higher. It's going higher. This is about the highest speed. No, it's not the highest speed yet, but that's, that's more or less the highest speed that you can go. So the motor is So the motor is doing what it should do, but I still want to trigger trigger the output. I want to trigger the output. I want to use the output to trigger this um, this relay. So this relay it has not triggered this relay. So I have to because um, I want when it gets to a, uh, 50 hertz, I want this relay to to connect to connect this relay to trigger this relay. So that's what we're going to do next. I'll just lower the speed and I'll probably stop it. So, you can have a fixed speed. Uh, once you put the speed, set the speed you like with the potentiometer, set the speed you like, then you can use the on and off button to start it and to stop it. So, we just stop it, which is this one. So as you can see, I've been running a 22 kilowatts motor, 22 kilowatts electrical motor on a 37 kilowatts variable frequency drive. And it's okay, it's fine, you can run so as, as long as the, the variable frequency drive is bigger than the motor, there's no problem. So all you have to do is to um, configure the parameters of the introduce the, the data on the nameplate of the motor into the into the, the variable frequency drive so once you introduce the data like that that the, that uh, frequency drive can drive motors meant for motors about up to 37 kilowatts but the motor is only 22 kilowatts so we just put the put the data in, put the right data in, otherwise it's going to be giving error, error of face loss. That is a, that one of the faces is lost because it's going to, the, the voltage is not right. The voltage that is supplying is going to be dosified, given the motor is not going to be right and then the inverter will be going into error. So you have to put the data of the inverter, the correct data of the motor into the inverter. And those data are in the nameplate. Remember, the nameplate are uh, a metal plate by the motor. There's always one on one of them on, on any motor. You might not be able to see it very well here. It contains information about the motor. And uh, I can try to show you from another motor. And uh, so that's that's important to note. And um, this is how we, where we're going to end this video for today. And uh, leave a comment below and tell me what you want, want me to make video about. And uh, what you... And don't forget to like and share this video. Alright, see you on the next one.